Um, hi, <laughs> Bob the Canadian here. I think this live stream is going. Um, we will see if uh, a few people start joining in just a little bit. It's, uh, it's Saturday night here. It's a really nice night actually. Um, as you can tell, I know some of you have watched the previous live streams. Hello Rogerio, hello Alicia Pasteur. Um, <laughs> awesome. Um, it is I-999. I'm only in it for the money. <laughs> Thank you so much um, for watching. I'm the pride of Smithfield, so that's very cool. Hey, but hey, thanks for watching. Um, if you're wondering, the purpose of these live streams is to have kind of a, an English conversation. Um, so if you have questions uh, or if you want to talk to me, please do so in the chat and I will try to answer. A senior says, hi, Bob. I say hi back. Lost in SM says, here it is Sunday morning. Yeah, there's definitely uh, a time difference. Lost in FM, I think you're in Germany, right? Lost in SM, uh, 1.30 over there uh, in Europe. Uh, so very cool. But hey, if, uh, if you want to have um, just a little bit of a chance to hear a native speaker talking, I'm your person. Um, I'll be here for about 30 minutes. Um, Dark Blue says, unbelievable, I made it to the stream. Hi everyone and good morning. Very cool. And uh, Arifar Aria says, hi Bob, hello to you as well. Zaza Astiani says, hello from Georgia. Uh, Lost in Emmy says, yes, Germany. So very cool. Uh, Mohammed says, Arab fun, I'm interested in your live. So um, I'm glad I can do this. I'm glad that uh, I've found a way to do a live stream from home. So it's uh, very enjoyable. As you can see, for those of you that have been here in the past couple of weeks, things are getting a lot greener here. Um, but if you look way in the distance, uh, you'll see that the river has flooded. So we've had so much rain in the last little while um, that the river has flooded. Hello, Cesar Aravalo. Uh, it says greetings from, but then it, I think it's a mystery. We're not sure uh, where the greetings are from. Hello, Danny from China. Hello, Ismail. Uh, I hope you're having a good evening or morning or nighttime, whatever time it is uh, where you are. But Anyways, uh, oh, from Mexico, very cool. Anyways, um, the purpose of this live stream is to just hang out for a bit, uh, just to take a few minutes uh, to help you uh, train your ear to a native English speaker um, to answer your questions if you have any. Hello, Gang Luau from China, very cool uh, to have you here. Um, I think that it has for me been, oh, how is my dinner? It was good. Um, I'm actually in the middle of it. I was at my sister's place and I came home to do a live stream and I'm going back in a bit, but we had, uh, it wasn't traditional, the meal, but it was um, what we call potluck. So in English, when we say um, a potluck meal, it means every person brings a dish. Um, so my brother brought chili. Um, I brought bread and a salad. Um, my other sister brought a pasta dish. Uh, hello to Japan as well. Um, and um, my sister also made chicken. So we had a variety of food. We all brought a different dish. And then as a family, we sat together and had a meal. And uh, the meal's just over. Um, my brothers and sisters don't know, but I just kind of popped home. I live close to my sister. Um, so I just popped home to do a live stream before it gets dark and then I'll head back there uh, to hang out. Let me just see if I can get these uh, chats back. Um, good morning from Japan. Lost in SM says, I'm really hungry right now. Yeah, sorry uh, to talk about food. I'm sure that's making you hungry. And hello, Gloria. Um, and then Lost in SM says, does anyone have an apple? Um, anyways. Um, Veronica says, hi, Bob, how are you? And hi, everybody. Um, well, I'm doing pretty good. I, I have to say that um, having a bit of a long weekend here in Canada, so a long weekend is when you don't have to work on the Friday uh, or possibly the Monday. I actually didn't have to work yesterday and I don't have to work Monday. So I have two days off. Um, it's very, very nice uh, to have a couple of days off. It makes the weekend more relaxing 
when you know that you don't have to go back to work until Tuesday. Uh, Clive says, hi Bob, how are you doing? Uh, pretty good, Clive. I was just mentioning how nice it is uh, to have a long weekend. Hello Wonder RC, welcome as well. Um, I'm just going to talk about a couple of things uh, about my channel quick. Um, I don't know if any of you know, but I do YouTube stories as well. If you ever have an English word you don't know how to pronounce, um, just go and leave a reply on YouTube stories. I don't know if you know how to get there, but um, I regularly help people uh, with pronouncing their words. Um, and Dark Blue says, they have the same kind of weekend in Germany. Very, very cool. Um, also, if you aren't familiar with me, I'm Bob the Canadian. Uh, I teach English on YouTube. Um, if you haven't subscribed, you should do so. Everybody that's here should click thumbs up right now because that makes me really happy. Um, but I do put a video out every Tuesday. If you have not yet watched Tuesday's video, you should go back and watch it. Um, and if you didn't watch yesterday morning's live stream, uh, you should head back and watch that as well. Um, I think they were pretty good. Um, Gosia is here. Hello, Gosia. Have a nice long weekend. Thank you. Lawson FM says, I'm going to France on Wednesday for one week because of a school exchange. So do you speak some French, Lawson FM? Or are you going to like the northeast part of France where they speak a little bit of German? So... I'm not sure I'm the pride of Smithville, but we'll see. Anyways, let me grab my water for a sec. In the last live stream, someone left a comment and said they don't like it when I drink water. I, I'm not sure if I was make a, making a slurpy noise, but here's a slurping noise. Sorry about that. Apparently some people don't like to watch people drink water on video, but I do have to drink a bit of water from time to time when I'm doing a live stream, so. Um, so, my heart is better. Huh, that's a good question. So, I haven't talked about this a lot, uh, but some of you know I had heart surgery 11 months ago. Um, it's pretty much better. I would say it's 90% better, but I do have another test that I have to go for on May I think it's the beginning of May. I'm not sure of the exact date. And I'll let you know then how things are going. But overall, I feel pretty good. So thanks for asking. Um, overall, um, I try to walk every other day. Um, but uh, that's just kind of the way it goes. Three hours away from Paris. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, it says health. Yeah, health is very important, though. Um, yeah, Gosia says, just drink it. No worries. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if uh, <laughs> if uh, people just don't like it when I drink water on camera. But uh, Clive says, welcome to Taiwan. Um, Clive, I haven't traveled much in my life. Um, but someday, I think, um, I always tell people, um, someday I will probably travel at some point. Uh, our Rifar says, are you a smoker? So do I smoke cigarettes? I do not. I'm actually, um, I think, a pretty healthy person that way. Um, when I was younger, a long time ago, I used to smoke cigarettes. When I was in university, eventually I quit. Uh, and I haven't smoked for a very long time, like 30 years. Um, uh, it was very funny when you explain the difference between blink of an eye and wink. <laughs> Yeah, so in my short English lesson, I explained the phrase in the blink of an eye. Um, and so I tried to show people that, a, I'll do it again now, a blink is this. When you do two eyes at once, that's a blink. And then this is a wink. And I'm not very good at the wink part. I, I really have to try hard to wink. Um, but a wink is when you uh, use one eye. Um, just one sec here. Let's see. Um, just gonna try something here for a sec, folks. Not sure if it will work. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I think it's still working, sorry. I'm trying to learn a new piece of software. So, uh, good morning from South Korea. Uh, and Karen says, hi Karen, by the way. Karen says, the lawn is almost green, yes. So lawn is greening up very much. We've had a lot 
of rain lately uh, and the rain has really helped. Oh, there's my dog way out there. Can you see him? That's Oscar. He's running along the fence back there. So, um, don't wink at us. Um, eat the apples to stay healthy. Greetings from Rio de Janeiro. Thank you very much. Um, it's good to see you. Um, I think I'm zooming in and I don't really mean to do that. So hopefully I'm not too big now for you guys. Um, let me scroll that back up. Sorry about that. Um, did I just get really, really big on your screen? I think I might have uh, zoomed in. Oops. Now for a minute there you saw my van. <laughs> I'm trying to be ready in case it rains. Um, uh, so I'm actually standing, I'll show you for a sec. I'm actually standing with my van here. So just in case uh, if it starts raining, uh, then I can stand under the back of my van, but it's not raining right now. So um, yeah, there's geese in the background. You can barely see them, the little tiny black dots on the water. Um, those are the geese. Um, and if you want to see, my dog is usually shy, but he's right here. Hi, Oscar. He's, he's keeping track of what the geese are doing. So, Elise, I'm trying to say your name. Elise Pasteur says, greetings from Francophone Africa. Merci beaucoup. Uh, je suis bien content de vous rencontrer. Uh, that's as much French as I'll be speaking tonight. <laughs> um, Clive asks, is it cold there? It's, it's not too bad, Clive. It's about six degrees Celsius right now. Um, so that's not too bad. Um, it's warm enough that I don't need a winter hat and I don't need gloves right now. I can safely be outside. Um, but I should show you guys a little bit more without me standing in the picture. So there are a few geese. They're on the far side of the river, way over there. You can see them. Um, Hi, Bob. I'm back at work. Send hello. To oh, hello, Brazil. Yeah, I think because of the time that I'm doing this, I think because right, what time is it here? It's 20 to 8 at night. Um, I think that I'm close to the same time zone as Brazil. So I think a lot of people, um, just a minute, there's a cat jumping in my van. Hey, cat, get out of the van. This cat, this cat here, uh, wants to go in my van. Um, Notice my cat is the same. This cat's not happy. This cat is the same color as my dog. I'll put him on the ground. I don't know the cat's name though. Um, if my daughters were home, I could ask them. Um, but uh, we have actually a lot of cats that are the same color um, as my dog. So it's kind of interesting. Sometimes we try to get. Um, uh, a picture of them uh, when they're together. So that's kind of fun. Um, Caesar says, I noticed you're out in the city in the country, am I right? Yes, I'm definitely out in the country. Um, we live on a pretty busy road though, Cesar. Um, so cars do go by quite a bit. Um, so you can hear them in the background a little bit um, going by. Um, but uh, I definitely live out in the country as you can see. Uh, behind my farm, there's a river, so it's very peaceful and very quiet out here. I really enjoy it. It's a nice, uh, nice place to, to live. Our Rifar says, Bob, please tell us about farmer's job and tell us is a good idea for a newcomer to start this job. So in Canada, farming is very hard work and it's very expensive to become a farmer. Um, because uh, the equipment is so expensive. The tractors and the combines, etc., are very, very expensive. Um, Lost in M says, oh, Rachel says, I love cats. Hopefully you liked the cat that I held up. Lost in SM says, our cat moved out. <laughs> he moved to the neighbors. Uh, Beryl Vilson, hi, Beryl Vilson says, you said you're not a pet person. I know, but... You know, the cats are nice. I, I do like to pick them up and pet them once in a while. Um, and William asks, does Oscar like the cats? So that's an interesting question, William. Oscar, let's get Oscar in the video again. Hi, Oscar. So Oscar likes some of the cats and Oscar doesn't like 
some of the other cats. Um, so I would say that, um, yeah, the two cats that are the same color as Oscar, he likes them quite a bit. Um, but the cats that aren't, uh, he doesn't like them. So let me just click here for a sec. No, that doesn't work. I'm trying to figure out how to control the chat, but oh well, I'm not going to worry. <laughs> lost in SM. No, but you can probably lost in him. You can't have Oscar, but you could probably find a dog like him. I think that if you look hard enough, you would. Um, William says, um, good morning from Taiwan. Oh no, Danny. Danny Dye says, does community share some equipment? Sometimes Danny, neighbors will share equipment, but the problem when you're farming is you all need the equipment at the same time. When that field over there is dry enough to plant, everybody needs the same equipment at the same time. So it is, it's actually a little bit hard to share. Um, Clive says, how many pets do you have? Well, we have Oscar uh, and we probably have about five or six cats. So uh, that's about it. Um, let's see, Maito says, Bob, tell us there's lots of fish on the river. So the river behind me has um, catfish. It also has smallmouth bass and it has carp. Those are the three main uh, kinds of fish. I don't fish in there very often, but there's definitely fish in there. Gloria says, I love pets. If I lived on a farm, I would have many of them. Yeah, it, it's fun to have them. Um, it's nice to have the cats because they catch mice in the barn. So that's really, really handy. So in our barn over there, we keep feed for our sheep and goats. And sometimes there's mice and rats that come, but the cats uh, do a good job of taking care of that. Rasim says, Hello, Coach Bob. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Rasim, as well. Thanks for the thumbs up. Uh, Lost in M says he needs more dog power. <laughs> um, Lost in M says Tibetan Terrier. I'm not sure what kind that is, but I'll have to look that up. Dark Blue, will you ever show us your wife's flower farm? That would be interesting. Uh, yes, definitely. I will show you the flower farm. In fact, right now, let's go for a little walk. We might lose the signal a bit here, guys, uh, but bear with me. At this time of year, there's not a lot growing, so there's not a lot to show you. Um, I'm kind of walking through the mud here, but so far we do have a small row of flowers coming right here that will soon grow and flower, and then we'll harvest them and we'll make bouquets out of them. I hope I don't get stuck <laughs> as I walk through the mud. Can you hear the funny sound uh, that my boots are making? It's a very, very wet here. Um, I'm gonna get back over here where I'll be safe in case it rains. So hopefully you guys were able to make that little trip with me and we didn't lose the signal. We'll have to check. Tejman said, hi Tejman. Uh, it's coffee break. Yeah, Vinicius, hello Vinicius. Hello Bob. Lost in M says she has a lot of fur. So Elysia says, is it the river, pond, lake, or sea? So that's a river. It's a river. It looks like a lake a little bit right now um, because it's rained so much that it has flooded just a little bit. So um, let's see. Dark Blue says, awesome, thank you. Yeah. Hey, I'll show you a lot more of the, of the farm. Um, as spring and summer come along. So we're in early spring right now. And uh, there isn't a lot growing. So as, uh, as we get closer to summer, I'll definitely, what I'm going to do is, um, I have a Wi-Fi antenna on this side of the barn. I'm going to put one on the other side of the barn. Um, and then I'll be able to live stream right from the flower field. So that will be kind of nice. My kids have a Shihawahoa dog in our flat, but I don't agree with them. I, I have to look up some of these dogs to see what they look like. It sounds very, very interesting. Gloria says, Oscar looks very comfortable on the table. He's very cute. Yeah, he just ran away. By the way, in Canada, we call that a picnic table. 
So if you're wondering what that kind of outdoor table is, it's a picnic table. Um, are the carp edible? So the word we use there, Beryl Vielsen, is edible. Um, we usually don't say eatable, but the carp, it probably is, but I have not eaten any. Um, I like to get my groceries from the grocery store. Uh, Vinicius says, your farm is awesome, a river in it, it's a gift. You know, there is something very peaceful about living on a river. Um, and I don't know, in some of my videos, you'll notice I've actually gone down to the bank of the river. Um, but I'll try to do a live stream from down there also later in the summer. Um, I just have to be able to get Wi-Fi <laughs> to various places. Mohammed says, hi. Hello, Mohammed. Hannah says, good evening from London, Ontario. Hannah, I was just in London uh, about three weeks ago. Um, my wife's family is actually from out that way. So I visit the London area once in a while. Um, it's a really nice city. Very, very nice. Santo Melendez says, isn't that river behind you dangerous for when it over floods? You know, it's not too bad, Santos, because we are very high up on a hill here. Um, and the river has never come up as high as my house. So it's not too dangerous. Um, it is, at some points, the river does get so high that the water goes across the road, but it's only done that like once every 30 years or so. Um, it's very rare. So a lot of the um, houses where I live are up on hills and the river is down in a valley. So uh, Tejman says, nice river behind you, thanks. Uh, Harifer says, beautiful landscape, my eyes go to sleep, yeah. It's, it's peaceful, there's one problem though. It's peaceful now, but in about a month we'll have mosquitoes and they'll buzz around and they'll, they'll, uh, they'll bite you. So that's no fun. Um, Cesar, my friend was in London too, says lost in SM, very cool. Remember there's two Londons, there's probably more than two. There's London, Ontario, Canada, and I live about two hours from that. And then there's also London, England. Cesar, do you have horses? or and cows no we have sheep and goats they are not outside right now they are in the barn um, but this summer when they are on pasture i will show them to you guys we'll do a live stream where you can see uh, the sheep and goats on pasture gloria says do you have a boat no i don't have a boat so a funny story i'll tell you a quick story when i was a kid i borrowed a canoe from my friend and i left it by the river uh, at the end of the summer and then in the winter the river flooded and the canoe went away and we lost it then years later <laughs> I borrowed a canoe from my sisters and I left it down by the river and someone stole it so I should get a boat I would really like to get a boat but if I do I would have to make sure that nobody steals it and I would have to make sure that I don't leave it by the river uh, English for fun for Arab says, I'm Ahmed from Egypt. I'm trying to help my community to learn English as much as I can on YouTube. And I get a lot of information from you. That's awesome. I just, again, I don't think English is the best language in the world, but it's the language I know. And I think the more everyone in the world learns to communicate with each other, um, the better the world will be. So I hope that I can do a little bit of help and I hope that, uh, Everyone else does as well. Tejman, yes, go back to work. I hope you have a good shift at work. When we say a shift at work, um, usually people go to work and they work for about eight or nine hours, and we would call that a shift. So some people work the day shift, some people work the night shift. I think Tejman's working the night shift right now. Tejman, if you're not gone, are you working the night shift right now? Um, I could feed myself from the river, but it's easier to go to the grocery store. Um, Rachel says, have a nice day for everyone. Thanks, Rachel. That's very awesome. Um, let me back up here. Lost in SM says, you can have our boat. I don't like it, but my father does. And then he uses a swear word there. You guys might want to be able to recognize that. I'm not going to say it out loud. Lost in SM says, English is the best language. You know... 
I don't know. Um, when I hear my students speaking Chinese, I think it sounds beautiful. Um, when I hear some of my students speaking Russian, I think it sounds beautiful. Um, I have a couple students that speak Ar Arabic. It sounds beautiful. French sounds beautiful. I think all languages uh, are beautiful. English is just, you know, what I speak. Cesar, are there wolves around? So, no, but there are an animal that we call a coyote. Um, so coyotes are definitely around. We can hear them at night sometimes. Uh, they make kind of a funny barking noise, howling noise. There are no wolves. If you go further north, so that way is north, a long way north, you would find wolves, but there really isn't um, enough food around here for wolves. We were just talking about this at my sister's place, actually. Uh, and my brother and my brother-in-law were mentioning that wolves can't really survive around here because there's nothing for them to hunt. Uh, Janice says, good morning from Taipei. I love your place very much. Thanks, Janice. That's awesome. Salah says, hi, Bob. Hello, Salah. Ibrahim. Uh, Beryl Wilson says, whether we agree or not, English language become lingua franca. It's definitely the language of business in a lot of places in the world. Um, I know my family is originally from Holland, originally from the Netherlands. I was born in Canada, but my parents were born in Holland. And when I um, meet relatives from Holland, my mom still has cousins and I have relatives that come and visit. They speak English very, very well because in the Netherlands, um, English is the language of business. So that's, uh, that's kind of how it goes. Dark Blue says, someone else told now the other story. Remember when I found a canoe at the river? Yeah, I'm sure someone is uh, somewhere downstream. So we have upstream and downstream. The direction a river flows is called downstream. There's someone downstream saying, I found this canoe. It just floated up to my place for sure. Uh, lost in M. Today I taught a little bit of German to my friend. Uh, Tejman says, happy Easter, Bob. Thanks. And lost in FSM. That's cool that you taught a little bit of German to someone uh, from Arkansas. So by the way, if you look at Lost in M's comment, he's speaking about a state in the US called Arkansas. And this is tricky for people to pronounce because it's Arkansas, but there's also a state called Kansas. And they look like they have this, they have somewhat the same spelling, but they're pronounced differently. Gloria says, your place is beautiful. You might organize a meeting for our online students. Just kidding. You know, if you guys are ever in Canada, let me know. Um, sometimes I'm in Toronto for a meeting, but if there were a bunch of people in Toronto, I would come up to see you guys. Um, I don't give out my WhatsApp phone number, so I don't use WeChat or WhatsApp. I have accounts for both, but um, because I do YouTube and Facebook and Instagram, I started to have too many apps on my phone. Um, it was hard to keep track of all of the apps that uh, I was using. So I, I only use those three now. So you can DM me on Instagram um, if you have a question. Um, Cesar, I've been told that somewhere in Canada speaks French. Do you speak French? Oui, je parle français un seulement un peu, mais je suis la seule personne dans ma famille qui parle français. Yes, Cesar, I speak French. There is a province in Canada called Quebec where people speak French. And in Eastern Canada, a lot of people speak French. And in our capital city, Ottawa, a lot of people speak French. But I am the only person in my family that speaks French, except I do have um, a nephew that speaks French. Um, and I learned it in school. So I'm not a native French speaker. Any of you who speak French that just heard me speak French know that I pronounce things a little bit wrong sometimes. Um, but yes, Cesar, we definitely are a bilingual country. We speak two languages. The majority of Canadians speak English, um, but the second most spoken language is French. So um, people who move to Canada from Congo, France, other French speaking countries have a real advantage in Canada because they can, um, it's easier to get jobs if you speak both of our official languages for sure. Let me check the time. I'm gonna go back to my sister's place in a bit. Oh, we have a few more minutes, that's no problem. Um, so I can't actually see how many people are watching on this 
new equipment. Um, but uh, this is kind of fun. Is Are there any more questions? Uh, does anyone have a question? Uh, Lost in FM says, Je m'appelle Tabia Ye Haha, Je m'anglais. So he's using some of his French. Uh, that's very cool, Lost in SM. Uh, very, very nice. Um, Lulu, hello Lulu, welcome to the live uh, lesson. Um, how's, it, how's it going? That's a great question. It's going good. Um, so we would say, how is it going? Or we would say, how are you doing? Those would be the two ways to ask. Um, it's, I'm doing good. Um, I'm having a nice evening. Um, I'm enjoying a peaceful, long weekend. Again, uh, in English, when we say long weekend, uh, we mean that we have more than just Saturday and Sunday. So this particular long weekend, we had Friday off. Um, so Friday, yesterday, Friday was a holiday. And for some of us, we also have Monday off. Um, so if we say we have Monday off, it means that Monday is a holiday. So I had Friday off yesterday. That was really nice. Uh, and I have Monday off in a couple of days. So um, it is very much a weekend to relax um, as well as um, see some family. So today we're seeing family. Um, later this weekend we'll probably see some more family. Uh, it's nice to have uh to visit family. Hamira says, hi dear. Well, hello, Hamira. Uh, thanks for coming. Lawson M says, I'm writing more in English than in German. That's, that's great. Um, writing is like good practice for speaking. Um, you can kind of write at a slower pace than what you speak. Uh, Dark Blue says, next year, I plan to go on vacation with a couple friends near Toronto. Who knows? I hope your offer is still valid. You can buy me a coffee in Toronto if you want. Um, let's see. My name is Shiloh from Iran. Well, hello, Shiloh. Um, and then we have a week has passed. You don't plant anything yet in the opposite side of the river. So first of all, it's actually too early to start planting some of our bigger crops. Um, we have something in Canada called frost. Um, so if we plant our crops too early, um, sometimes winter comes back for a little bit or freezing weather comes back for a little bit. So sometimes when we plant corn or soybeans too early, it comes out of the ground and then we get a hard frost. And a hard frost means that it goes below zero at night and the crop dies. So we really have to be patient in Canada um, about when we actually plant our crops. So right now it's April, what is it? April 20th today. If it was dry, some people would be starting to work up the field to get ready to plant, but it's a little early uh, to start planting. Uh, but certainly uh, in the next little while, people will start to plant things. Uh, Venetia said, um, let's see. Oh, let me go back. Clive says, what are you doing on the weekend usually? So what do I normally do on the weekend, Clive? I usually try to do nothing. Um, I like to watch YouTube videos. I like to watch movies. Um, I like to read books. I certainly like to spend time with my wife and my kids. Um, but usually in the winter, we try to relax um, for sure. Venetia said, I had some classes here in Brazil of a professor from Montreal. He speaks French and English. Yeah, Montreal is a completely bilingual city. It's very cool. Lulu says here, behind you, quite green and awesome. Yeah, it's green. It's growing. Um, soon I'll have to start mowing it. <laughs> Um, Lost in SM says, oh wait, Hamira says, I live in Shelburne, Canada, but Hamira is not your name, right? Did I forget your real name? Sorry about that. I live in Shelburne. Um, Lost in FM says, I speak in English all the time. My friends are really annoyed and my dog is probably confused. Yeah, dogs get used to commands in one language. And if you start using a different language, uh, it can be a little bit confusing for them, can't it? Anyways, um... Should I go back uh, to my sister's house? Should we wrap this up? Um, I'm not sure if there are a lot more questions, um, but this certainly was enjoyable. Um, it doesn't look like it, but it's certainly starting to get dark here, um, very much so. Um, Hospita says, hi, Bob, greetings from Rio de Janeiro. Um, and let's do something here for a sec. For those of you that waited around this long, um, let's see how close let's see how far I can walk uh, before the Wi-Fi gives out 
So let's have a better look at this river over here. Maybe you can even see some of the geese. The Wi-Fi should work. Um, we're still kind of in sight of the router, but uh, let's walk over here. So you can see the river's quite flooded and I'll just kind of spin. You can't quite see them. It's probably a little too dark, but over there, there are a few geese uh, just along the river. I'll give you a good look. I'll put you guys way up in the air. Try not to shake the camera too much. Don't get too sick. If you look right that way, there's actually some geese swimming in the river, but anyways, let's walk back over here. I'm sure some of you need to get your day started, and I'm sure some of you need to get to bed. <laughs> so uh, let's wrap this up for this week. Um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and all that stuff that YouTubers ask you to do. Um, I'm just going to put the camera back here just for a moment. Not sure if I lost the connection or not, but who knows. Anyways, um, Clive says you're a good father and husband. Well, I try to be. Um, Dark Blue says greetings to your family. Greetings to yours as well. Thanks for your time. Wow, beautiful trees. Um, Homira says this way of learning English is really good. And I need someone to help me with conversation. I hope uh, you find someone. Dark Blue said we saw a windmill. There are some big windmills around here. Um, I'm going to do an English video on electricity soon and I'll try to go uh, to one of the videos. Danny says next time you can cook while introducing and shooting the video. Um, sometimes we have a little fire over there. Maybe I'll do that. But anyways, thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope this helped you with your English. Um, I'm going to wrap this up. This was really fun for me. Uh, I'm going to pack away my equipment and I'm going to head back uh, to my sister's house. I hope you all have a good evening, a good day, a good morning, whatever time it is where you are. Uh, and again, tell somebody uh, about my channel. I love making videos, but I love it more uh, when people watch them. So anyways, have a good weekend. I hope some of you have a holiday as well. I'm going to push this stop button here.